What's going on, guys? My name is Nick Rose. So, last week, Danielle Bergoli, a.k.a. Cash Me Outside, a.k.a. Bad Baby, announced that she was signed to Atlantic Records. About two weeks prior to that, she released her premiere music video titled These Hoes. Let's take a look at that. I ain't like these hoes. Don't compare me to no one. Money green like a sea low. Yeah, my pocket's so swollen. You guys saw the clip. When I first heard and saw this video, I was just pretty much all around unimpressed and thought the song was total trash. But let's take a step back for a second and look at Atlantic. Under the helm of the label, artists such as Gucci Mane, Kodak Black, Wiz Khalifa, Missy Elliott, Cardi B, Lil Uzi Vert are all signed to Atlantic. Now these are real artists. Then you throw Danielle Brigoli into the mix and it seems like the music industry is actually taking a turn for the worse. If this somehow becomes a precedent, then really the music industry will be even more flooded with untalented idiots than it already has. On a lighter note though, I do have to respect her hustle. I give credit where it's due and this girl turned a catchphrase from Dr. Phil into millions of dollars and a record deal. <laughs> Huh? Catch me outside, how about that? Catch you outside? What does that mean? Everybody thought she would have her 15 minutes and poof, gone. That's not what happened. Instead, she kept her name relevant however possible, created a YouTube channel, utilized social media, started doing collaborations with big YouTubers like Logan Paul, and now she's got herself a record deal. She followed up these hoes with another music video titled Hi Bitch, slash what you know and basically it's like two songs and two videos mashed into one kind of like what xxx tentacion did with his look at me music video i actually didn't hate this song nearly as bad as i hated these hoes i'm not gonna do an in-depth review or anything maybe i'll do that in another video but really in both halves of the video the beats were real bassy real hard her flow was clean and smooth and went perfectly with the beats and she somehow managed to create a banger i mean this is a type of song that you would sit in the car and listen to if you have that real dope bose sound system or put money into a sound system this is what you would want to listen to i do not sniff it or roll it no it do not drink when i pull it no i do not run i don't need no receipts i see it i own it i play for keeps don't tell me the price don't matter to me Although this is a clear improvement over these hoes, I still wouldn't consider it good. Really, I think that her part in the music industry right now is more of an anomaly than anything, and that's probably what's keeping her relevant to this day. I really don't think that she's going to last too much longer, and three years from now, I don't see her being someone that we're talking about and making videos about and hearing on the radio. But for now, she is a part of this, and at this point, we are all just watching and waiting to see what happens. That's all I got for today, guys. I know it was a short one. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.